Hey guys, we're going to do the monthly tarot read. This is for Virgo for November. And I'm in the home stretch. I've been working on these all day, trying to get all your signs out and everything, get you guys some good reads here. So let's get to it for Virgo. I'm really excited to see this because this is my moon sign. So it might have a little bit of influence on my own read. So <laughs> I'll be reading for myself a little bit too. And we'll kind of see what's going on. So we're going to pull three cards from the Rider Waite deck. First, to kind of start off, kick off everything, I'm going to be pulling from several different decks to get that energy in there for the month of November. So starting off with Rider Waite. This is for Virgo for November. Should I turn that one this way? Let's see good things. Okay, let's cut the deck. Right there looks good. And let's see what we get. So the first card, next card, next card. Okay, so this is what we got. So the very first card is Justice. Now, Justice is the Libra card. It's all about balance and so forth. And the card is very much about karma. So what are the things Virgo may be dealing with? Um, there could be some situations they feel are not fair or not just about some things going on. And that may be very frustrating. Um, there may be a, a sense of wanting to get out there and make the crooked straight, you know, and try to right a wrong and so forth. And, you know, that's what things they pay attention to little details and everything. That's one of the things Virgo does. And they do have a sense of justice even in themselves and so forth. So what are the things about this with this energy? is just be really careful about that. You know, try not to push anything that could affect your own karma, I guess. So it may not be necessarily even with you. I get about it um, more about another, that you see some kind of injustice or something does not seem fair. It might even be on a bigger scale and that you're seeing something and you want to get out there and be the activist and do something. But just, you know, we can, we can only do our part. We cannot force a whole thing. And there could be, as Virgo does like to debate, um, Virgo may get into some b debates with people over this, whatever this injustice is that they're feeling and stuff. So be careful because that can open the door to conflict. But one of the things um, I feel good, and a lot of you are getting this this month, which is really good, is we've got the Ace of Pentacles. I feel abundance is going to be very good. Um, receiving gifts and so forth. Money should be flowing in very well. It should be very positive. And I do have the Six of Cups energy. It is in the reverse position. I feel that returning to the inner child, there is going to be a call to do that. Now, I'm wondering if there is some kind of trigger with this kind of injustice situation that causes you to reflect on your own inner child. Um, something that you feel is not fair awakens the inner child in some way. And so some inner child work may be needed to be able to do this. So I feel some good things on the positives. We got some good abundance coming in, uh, some things like that, um, which is very good and some growth. But I do feel a need to go back to the inner child and do a little bit of work. And let's go ahead and look at thought. So now we're going to bring some thought energies in there. But yeah, there might be some kind of something you feel is not fair or just. I mean, it could possibly be about yourself as well. Um, but I, but it almost feels like on a bigger scale, like I feel like one of the things is Virgo can debate. And I feel like us possibly debating over some kind of issue. So just be careful with that. Try not to open the door for too much conflict and everything. Because that's what I think a lot of times Virgo walks into conflict. And with having the Virgo moon, I can kind of understand that. You know, there's a, a we 
we can get set, you know, things should be a certain way. Okay, focus on Virgo. And my hands are sore from shuffling all day. Ooh, I feel it. I'm going to get Carpal Tunnel. Okay, let's see what Thoth cards we get. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there is, got that Justice card again. There's something going on. There's something going on. Yeah, I, I feel something. Something feels uh, very activist and very global with Virgo this month. I feel very strongly about that. Um, we've got some things because I've also got the adjustment card is also justice. Okay. And then I've got it next to the world. And then I've also got the card oppression. Okay. So I, I definitely, that's what I was kind of feeling. And this seems to affirm my feel on that justice reverse card. <coughs> there are some things that we're seeing in the world or even some things like it's like something comes close to home that there's something um, that you do not feel that is right or just and you're going to want to debate about it. You're going to want to take up arms about it in the situation and so forth. And it's it's something you feel like you've got to confront head on. Um, there could be some people that are your friends in your camp. Maybe they're on your Facebook that don't necessarily agree with your views um, with how you think things should be handled, but it feels almost more global. I mean, something is really impacting you and affecting you in some way that you don't think is fair and you really need to speak your mind about it and so forth. And I've got that hangman energy. One of the things that's really important to do is see things from a different perspective during this time. You might feel a little powerless um, seeing all this stuff that the only thing you've got is your voice. And so definitely that's one of the things. I, and, you know, I would say use your voice, but just be careful. Try not to get into heated arguments with people. I remember their perspective may not be your perspective. Their experiences may not be your experiences. And so we always want to remember that as well. So when they're seeing things, they might not see the injustice in it the same way you do. Now we're going to go ahead and look at love. So yeah, it feels like something is really going to bother you. You're going to like see something in the news or uh, hear from something and, and you're just, you're, you're going to get upset about it. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what's going on. I'd like another card for that. Okay. So for some of the Virgos, and remember this is a collective read, um, take with what you will. You can discard the rest if it doesn't resonate. But for some of you, the Wheel of Fortune, I do have um, things going into favorable position. What I'm kind of getting here is I feel a relationship which was kind of getting on its last legs with the Death Reverse card. And I've got that Strength card was in the reverse position. Feeling, and I feel like some of the powerlessness maybe in the relationship is possibly what is affecting this, uh, taking the energy out on some kind of cause. You know, try to get your power over something in a certain way that the core of it is you might be feeling powerless in what is going on at home and things like that. But I feel like things go in a favorable position that somehow something is saved is the message I am getting here that something almost looks like it could come to an end and then something positive happens and shifts um, for some of you that can put it in a better direction that things go in more positive. Like there's a realization in the relationship the two people are like, I do want to be in this. I do love this person. I've got the Prince of um, Swords energy in the reverse position. I feel there may have been some communication breakdowns a little bit. And then if it's the Virgo male, you may have had a hard time expressing yourself with some things. But then I've got that Princess of, um, this is the Princess of Cups as well as the Princess of Hearts. I feel like a restoration 
of love energy um, comes back. And these two are able to work together. But some kind of turn, um, I feel like some kind of realization why we came together in the first place. I feel like we are able to finally communicate and talk things out. And it somehow saves the saves the door from having to close entirely. Like we're given one more shot in the relationship to really make it work. There's another chance there that we can get that going on. So there's there's a positive there. So I feel like it's a close call um, for some that something could have come to an end. But then for some of you, then all of a sudden it gets better. And now we're going to pull from the angel deck to kind of put that at the foundation and kind of see what's going on. No surprise to pull the Hermit card because that is Virgo. Uh, the Hermit card is the Virgo card. So this is going to be a month, of course, um, spending time in meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. Um, this is, we may need to retreat from some things. It's like, and that's one of the things, like, I feel like getting out there, getting my voice out there, debating, but then I need to retreat. I need to kind of step back and reassess the situation, exactly what's going on. It's like, I feel like I have to get back to my soul purpose and everything. What did I come here to do, really? Was it to battle it out with the collective? Or is there a deeper meaning behind my whole purpose, you know, for me coming into this world? So I feel like Virgo is going to kind of sit with that. You know, after seeing all this, you know, because one of the t one of the things people have been talking about a lot um, on social media, um, which is going on, be it in spiritual groups or not, is distraction. That and there is a, a certain level of truth in that. That there are a lot of things that are occurring to distract people, and then you got to say distract from what, and that's what I'm saying. What your purpose is, what what you've come here to do, you know, as in evolving as a spiritual being, I would say, and I know I'm not trying to sound conspiracy theory like person, uh, but there is definitely a force that does not want people to recognize their divine power within. Okay. I will say that. And so it's, it's really important to not lose sight of what is important. And then I feel some healing. Remember when I talked about the inner child? We've got the three of air. I feel a returning to the inner child. Like some of this um, collective drama causes you to kind of go back to your inner child and assess some things. And then I've got that moon energy. Work with the moon cycles during this time to kind of release and purge that which is needed. But see, yeah, I've got that seven to fire energy, which is about stand up, stand your ground. So I feel getting involved in some debates with people is going to happen. And that's and Virgo's real good at that. That's one of the things about Virgo. Virgo is real good when it comes to debating anything and stuff. Very, very good at it. And let's pull from Starry Beginnings to get some kind of universal messages here. I have been pulling that card for everybody tonight. Okay. So I've got the card, Breathe Love Into Your Life, is one of the cards that I'm pulling forward. I've also got the card, Be, Feel, and Receive Abundance. That's what I'm saying. I feel like some good abundance energy is coming in this month, which is going to be really good. And I've also got let love be your guide. So when we're dealing with the collective and some of the frustration and some of the injustice that we are experiencing, that is one of the keys is let love be your guide. And let's pull from this one. But yeah, the hermit is the Virgo card. Yep, here we go. So I've got the card Psychic Abilities. So expect probably with that Scorpio energy, I think a lot of people are going to experience some good psychic insights that are going to be coming forward. Look toward inspiration. When you're looking towards some of this injustice uh, that you're kind of seeing and so forth, you got to also look at what inspires you. And that is going to really um, fit well with that hermit time when we really kind of go within and we kind of connect with that what am I really here for? 
why am I battling it out with this? Is this futile to battle it out with the collective? And so, and then of course, have confidence. I've got the confidence card. Now let's look at those shadow energies. I want to look at that as well. Which, where did the deck go? Let's see. We're going to look at what does my shadow have to say this month. Yeah, that's no surprise to get that one. Virgo's got work to do. So I've got the card for shadow work. Take risks. So take some risks on some things. It seems to be saying don't play it safe. I've also got the card soul work. That fits well with the inner child work there. That we're going to need to do. And that hermit energy of kind of going within and connecting back with the source. And also setting boundaries. So when you're going to these debates and everything like that, set healthy boundaries. Very important. So it's not a, it's, it's a good month still. Um, I, I feel a little frustration when I tune into it. Like we're going to get frustrated with maybe the way people are behaving, the collective. Because, it, you know, you really pay attention to the little things. You know, the things people say. And that, but there's something else behind what they say. You're very inquisitive about that. Like somebody could say something, but then you know they really mean something else. And, and you pick up on that very easy. You're very easy at reading people and not missing a beat and, and stuff like that. That's one of your abilities that you're very good at and stuff. So just, you know, be careful, you know, getting, you know, don't lose sight you know, when we're kind of up, you know, we do want to care about certain things, like the environment. You know, if it was the environment or politics or whatever it may be that, that we feel like something is not just or right. You know, we do need people to get out there and use their voice. Absolutely. Vote. You know, we, we do those things. But we do also don't lose sight. A lot of it is a distraction. We, we want to remember that, right? The, a, a lot of these things can be a distraction from our true purpose of what we came here to do. So don't forget that. Don't forget your true purpose for being here and work on that inner child this month. I hope you enjoy my read.